All right, welcome back. On this uh, section, we are going to be covering how to add clothing to your model in the way that now you want to rig it. Right now, if, uh, by this point, you should already have your piece of clothing already rigged, um, already placed into the right position that you want. For well, this instance, it already is, and let's go select our armature, control tab, so we can go to post mode, and see that the armature is not following the uh, uh, the clothing, it's not following the armature, it's not following the bones, so just hover in there in space. So, let's attach it to the model. There are two ways of doing it. The simplest way, well, sometimes I was going to give you errors, will be grab the, uh, select the mesh, for this instance, it's going to be our shorts, and then shift select the bones. After this, press control P. And gonna select parent to with automatic weights. And if it does work, you, there you go, you're set. But in this instance, it gave me a little error. Let's see if it actually worked by just selecting the armature. And let's move the model. And no, it didn't work that way. So the other way of doing it would be uh, select a known uh, piece of uh, mesh that already has the uh, correct weights for this instance it's going to be our uh, skin of the model and then we'll first select the skin of the model and then select shift select your prefer mesh it's gonna be our um, shorts press control uh, tap and we're gonna go to uh, weight paint or you can go to um, up here and select weight paint so it's easier to grab the radio wheel and just press that one or press number seven after you have this radio wheel open from this point, you can manually uh, wait or just do it the simplest way. Go to our drop down menu here on weights, select uh, transfer weights. Down here, you're going to open up this little uh, window if it's close. So if it's like this, you're going to open it up. In here, you want to select by name and there that should be it that should transfer the proper weights to your model let's test it out let's select our armature all right you already have that bone selected press g to move it around and now that is moving let's C, let's grab that IK bone on the leg. Alright, that's moving the right way. That's moving the right way. Let's grab this one. And yep, those are following. I might have too little topology on the model because it's not deforming right on this section. Oh no, that was just a visual bug. Alright, so that's set. Let's go out of that. So now your model has the proper weights. Let's test this out on MMD. 
let's export the model on this uh, point you want to select all so press a and then you want to attach this mesh to your model or else you export and you know, sometimes not bring your new uh, geometry with it so attach that one and okay this one didn't lag on me so that's good now let's export our model uh, beforehand let me explain your um, material settings so this material on blender has two sections it has a uh, the cloth material and the damage material so this two over here if you go to this little tab if you select this ones all right and you scroll down to the, your MMD materials MD doesn't care any of the uh, uh, blender shaders so it's gonna ignore that so if you put any of the uh, blender shaders you're gonna be wondering why everything's white and that's because you need to go down here to the MMDD material settings and adjust them so what I like to do is have the same names for these two down here so select this one it's gonna be the MMD uh, names and this is gonna be the names you're gonna see on your uh, MMD tabs so this one is this fabric 3 I mean but I'm gonna rename it as a Demin so I can easily know what they are you can change your diffuse specular and ambient colors if you want you can make it have a tunage radials uh, double-sided reflection or make it transparent with the alpha uh, down here you want to if if the material has a texture you want to grab it and select it and press accept if it doesn't for instance for, uh, I'm gonna be using this same material so that's gonna be exported with it but my stream material I don't want it I'm gonna like put like a raycast material once I get there so that's gonna be exported as white and this one doesn't have a name so it's gonna give you like a null number on it so let's call this one shorts stream and the English session shorts string and this is gonna be blank in the materials so this one is gonna have materials and that's gonna be white and that I can swap it up when I'm using raycast alright so now let's export the model select all export our model and select our location so this was congee to a point 15 and I was using real world scales so I'm going to upscale it to 12.5 export next open up MMD let's go and find where our model is located that one's at great projects uh, character and it's that's gonna be Kangi and it's gonna be imagine and no that's not it sit down here 
Here it is. Let's drop it, test it. And see if our all our materials happen to be here. All right, there she is. And she has a bunch of different clothing. Wait a minute, why didn't those came with it? But uh, let's go with... And let's get rid of the skirt. Nice t-shirt. Go there we go. Okay, I'm missing something that I added before it was some uh high heels. There you go. And as before, like I said, this uh the strings don't have any materials, but the it did bring over the demon. Let's throw in a motion. Check out whether or not it's um proper. All right, and press play. As we can see, and let me follow a bone. And there we go. And it's working properly. I'm having uh, some clipping issue. That means that I need to make the clothing come out just a tad bit more from the skin but that works so in order to adjust the material let me go here let's go to sculpting get into positions and I like to use the elastic deform brush press F make it bigger grab this and all right control and do I want to have mirror enable F so just like that you just Gotta just pull it to your desired location. Okay, so do your little adjustments. And all you have to do is now export the model and you are set. And with that, let's call it a video. We'll catch you next time.